Hello everybody. Today, we're taking a look at the upcoming episode of Yellowstone Season 4. The episode will be released on Sunday night at Paramount Network as usual, and we cannot wait for it. The last episode was brilliant but also filled with many questions. We saw Jamie confronting Garrett, but failing to hold him accountable as he was too weak against Garrett's manipulations. We also watched Beth getting used to her position at Market Equities, already threatening Jamie with her new power. John, on the other hand, got a new chance of love at the most unexpected moment towards the most unexpected person, who is an animal rights activist. Even though John was mostly a gentleman to her, Beth ruined the relationship before it even started by attacking Summer in the kitchen for merely being in Yellowstone without her knowledge. Last, but certainly not least, we witnessed one more fight between Lloyd and Walker, which ended up in the kicking out of the women from the bunkhouse, including Teeter. For the next episode, we expect these storylines to gain new momentum and even be concluded. According to the promo of the new episode, John will receive a new offer for a position in the municipal office. This might mean that he will have to choose between Jamie and Casey as the representatives of his business and legacy in the state. We know that John gives high priority to local politics and never hesitates to utilize his children in such positions since he knows that when you have a man in a state department, things get way easier. Nevertheless, we also know that despite their deep love for each other, Casey and Jamie have always competed for John's affection. Since Jamie is already estranged from the family, promoting Casey instead of him seems like the likely option in this case. But it would also guarantee that Jamie will stay with Garrett and leave his identity as a Dutton completely behind. We're doubtful if John would be okay with that scenario. Thus, we wouldn't be surprised if John makes a twist and promotes Jamie instead as a sign of his trust in him. Such a move can change the course of events completely, as Jamie would never betray the Duttons after this type of gesture. The promo also showed Beth in a market equities meeting, discussing some land that will host the new project of the company. However, she immediately questioned who is the owner of the land, since she knows the area so well and wouldn't make the mistake of bargaining over even a square of Yellowstone land. Unfortunately, Though, it seems like market equities will already be challenging for Beth since they will force her to show her loyalty to the company, which may end up in her sacrificing some of Yellowstone. We know that Beth is thinking long-term when it comes to business and doesn't hesitate to make some sacrifices for a successful outcome in the end. For instance, she hosts wedding ceremonies in Yellowstone, despite knowing that John hates the idea and considers it a disgrace to the ranch life. Still, Beth sees the potential in the sector and acknowledges the fact that some changes need to be made to survive as an old-school ranch. And yet, we're not sure if selling some piece of land to market equities would also be considered as a necessary sacrifice by her. Regardless, it's clear that Beth will have to make a harsh choice this episode, and will probably clash with John over it. Last but not least, the promo showed Summer Higgins, once again, protesting the ranches and stay for their animal usage. It seems like John sees her while protesting which we assume will bother him. He might accuse Beth of such a scene since he was seriously believing that Summer might have changed her views if she got to know the Yellowstone Ranch better. We know that John highly values Beth's opinion on everything. We might even claim that she is his favorite child. Thus, we wouldn't be surprised if he would dismiss Summer just because Beth doesn't like her. But if Beth acts against Yellowstone, things would change quickly. John would get angry at her for not only selling out her family, but also involving in his personal life. This may encourage him once again to approach Summer and try to start over to his relationship with her. Summer would also probably say yes to him since she liked John for the most part. Of course, this means that we should prepare ourselves to watch yet another face-off between Beth and Summer in this episode. She isn't only a fan favorite, but also very liked by Rip and the others on the show. Still, when Walker and Lloyd got into a fight for the third time, John decided to fire all the women as if it would bring peace to the ranch. Rip reminded John that Teeter has nothing to do with anything, but still, John insisted on his wrong decision. In Episode 7, we expect an explanation from John regarding this behavior. What was he thinking? Why did Teeter have to go? Will she go? To be honest, we have doubts about this. We believe that Rip will bring her back somehow, probably positioning her at a more comfortable place within the ranch. We don't think she will receive the same treatment as the rest of the women on the ranch, since she has nothing to do with them. And we also don't think that Rip would let her go so easily. Thus, even though the promo didn't do her justice, we expect to see Tita returning with glory to the show this episode. 
What are your expectations from Episode 7 of Yellowstone Season 4? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.